Hello, I'm Jimmy here, back with some more Space Engineers. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, this video should have been out yesterday. But I'll be also honest with you, I'm just an incredibly lazy bum, really. Um, <laughs> to use an American term, but actually, not really. I'm just a very lazy person. Which shouldn't surprise you if you're, if you're a subscriber to my channel, or even for that matter, even if you've watched any of my videos. I'm just a lazy person, pretty much. Uh, and also, to be also honest as well, I haven't done a lot of stuff in Engineers in terms of the working towards the big uh, triple saucer ship that I keep uh, talking to you guys about. Um, but there is certainly uh, some information upon it. Uh, just give me one moment. Might help if I actually... Uh... There we go. So I had to just tab out there and get rid of that. I'm not, I'm not even sure you actually saw the uh, Discord overlay. I'm not sure if that even appeared in OBS. Anyway, um, speaking of Discord though, uh, if you really want to see a few of the... Um, a few uh, sort of sneak peek screenshots of that ship in question that I keep touting, touting. It's probably the right word. Uh, then yeah, go to my go and come to my long to my Discord server. That's in the description. But in the meantime, I am actually standing upon a very small ship, uh, which hey, it's a simple ship. But uh, continuing on though from the whole tractor beam uh, thing here, because like tractor beams. They seem to work a lot better than they used to, like I said, uh, and I did have that NPC disabler ship of some kind. And, well, I suppose the most obvious use for uh, for tractor beams is a is a tug ship. Like, literally, this is a, and And I just so happened to, um, or in this case, I made it pretty much in the shape of a boat. Uh, even though boats and engineers, if you really want, if you like the look of it, then hey, go for it. But it, it serves no purpose other than, in this case, it is a tugboat. That's pretty much... Uh, oh, I shouldn't say boat, it's a tug ship. You know what, I might even do some kind of weird thing in the uh, in the video title, actually, uh, mess uh, where I kind of spoonerize the words, perhaps. I don't know. I, I never really... Like, when I'm recording right now, in any video, when I'm recording, I, like, 90% of the time, I don't know what I'm going to have for the title, or if I'm going to have any other information on, on the said ship in the title or the description or anything like that. I don't know what I'm doing. I just... I, I just carry on and make videos as on the fly. There's no planning. There's never any planning in anything that I do. I just go with it, and I roll with it, and in all honesty, I have a small channel to show for it, to be honest. Even though that's, you know, not the most professional thing, but I hardly do this for a living. Hardly. So, anyway, um, the ship itself is very simple. Um, it is actually completely vanilla, other than the uh, than the actual tractor beams itself. So, yes, it needs only the tractor beam mod to function. Makes sense, right? Uh, speaking of which, let me know in the uh, comments below. Uh, do you want this on the workshop? It's a simple ship, and I know probably anyone could make a ship like this, but if you really want it, uh, give me give me some pokes and messages and comments uh, down below, and I'll probably get it up on the workshop if I get enough interest. If not, then, well, you've at least watched the video. Um, so, yeah, it is a pretty simple ship for the most part. There's not too much to say in terms of the uh, physical look on it. Some people might be wondering, uh, why is there a missile turret on the back? Now, I've got to be honest with you, the missile turret on the back of a boat, which is designed to tow things, might seem strange. But I will also, my, well, the idea behind that turret, really, is actually uh, from Just Cause 4, of all things. And yes, I'm one of the few people in the world who actually likes Just Cause 4. You know, even though I did a huge, nearly an hour-long rant video saying that it's it's okay, but it's not great. You know, and it doesn't... I mean, I'm saying that the game doesn't deserve the hate. But anyway, um, the uh, some of the boats in Just Cause 4, one in particular, uh, I believe it's the um, the boat that used to... In Just Cause 3 had the... Uh, the twin machine guns on the on left and right side. Uh, in Just Cause 4, it has a basically it's, it calls it it says it's a mortar, uh, but no, that boat has a lock-on missile launcher on the back. That's pretty much why I put a turret there. Although in the uh, in Just Cause 4, said turret is actually closer to here on said boat rather than the front here. And actually, even the um, the cockpit itself here is a little bit um, only only vaguely because I can't really use you know it's only three blocks wide, so I don't have the you know the detail in this in this case. But it's actually very similar in shape to the one in Just Cause 4. Um, but anyway. Um, but yeah, as far as far as the rest of the ship is concerned, it is pretty simple. Um, I, one thing I gotta say, for such a small ship, I do actually have a large thruster at the bottom here, and I gotta be also honest, that large thruster makes this ship go pretty fast. Um, even though, one actually one thing before I get inside, um, the, the tractor beams themselves, they do actually defy physics. Um, because even if they, um, well, what, what was that law of physics here? Uh, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. 
Uh, well, when you think about it, if these, uh, if one of these, you know, tractor beams applies a force to an object, even if it could project that force some distance away, right? Well, in theory, it would actually, since this ship is actually, uh, comparatively speaking, very light, and let's say it was towing a much larger ship, well, the tractor beam, if it could lock on physically, per se, it would just end up pulling the tugboat basically towards whatever uh, ship it's locked onto, and, you know, it, the thing is, it doesn't do that. It just, like, it's... I, I mean, we're, I'm, we're, we're working within game logic and game physics in Space Engineers, so there's only so much that can be done, of course. And in all fairness, I kind of prefer it the way that it is, um, as it means that your tugboats don't need an insane amount of horsepower uh, for thrusters and gyroscopic performance. I mean, there's obviously the physical tugs, the ones that actually you, you literally attach yourself, usually with landing gears, um, to a ship and then you can obviously push it around. Um, but, you know, that requires a lot more physical force on the tugboat side of things. Tractor beams are much cheaper. They do cost a lot, of, they do use a lot of energy, which makes sense. Uh, but they're a lot cheaper when you think about it, uh, as the ship itself does not need any insane amount of thrusters or gyroscopes in order to do its job, if you get my point. So if we go inside here, it is a very simple ship inside, but, you know, it doesn't really need to be anything, anything more than a simple ship. My volume is very loud, actually. I'm not sure that was going through the mic there, but, um, but yeah, not there really isn't much going on inside. It's, it's a tugboat, it doesn't need to be. So, um, I mean, really, in here, I have a window at the back for some reason, but I put that there. Um, but really, yes, the uh, the main cockpit is right here, as you'd expect. Um, secondary seat, mainly. Not really sure who would be in here. I suppose you could have a co-pilot, perhaps, or um, maybe another person to maybe even manually control uh, the um, the tractor beams if that's what is called for. So, you know, a second person could sit there and do that. Um, and actually, you know, one thing I'm just, while I'm standing up here um, inside this ship, actually, um, one thing I would love to see in the vanilla game, right, is an alternative uh, to catwalks. Now, what I mean by that is, as you can see, I'm using catwalks basically on left and right side here as basically wall plating. Now, it's mostly because the actual interior space is three blocks wide. It, 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 you can see it actually is three blocks. Um, the catwalks don't take up that block in question. Um, it's it's just so, you, you know, you, if you need a very thin wall, which is airtight, you know, I mean, uh, there is air inside this ship, as you can sort of see there at the bottom there. Um, it just would be nice to have, like, a, another alternative plate, as it were, in the vanilla game. There are mods that add uh, plates and stuff. I think I even have... Um, I think I even have uh, one of them here. Yeah, some armor panels and stuff, so... Uh, I can't remember who the mod author is for this, but, you know, there are mods that do this. It would nice. It would just be nice to see a vanilla version, because, like, some people might not like the look of the catwalks if you're using them as wall plates, if you know what I mean. You know, nitpick thing, but, you know, that's just a food for thought, I suppose. Uh, anyway, yes, uh, gravity's in here, and down below deck it is pretty simple. Uh, doesn't, you know... No need to go too crazy, but a couple gyroscopes there. Um, those are the front, uh, the reverse thrusters actually there on that side. Uh, oxygen above my head, as you can see. A couple batteries. Um, slanting windows. No purpose really, other than just it. I like the look of it really. Um, oxygen generator there. Uh, turret is either above that block or above this block. I can't remember. A uh, little cargo storage. Um, and the th uh, thruster? No, the reactor bank at the back here, and I'm kind of, I haven't actually tested this ship, but I'm pretty sure this should be enough power. If not, then, well, there is that conveyor block I'm staring at, so you could just put a couple more reactors in if that's required. You know, the vanilla small reactors are reasonable, but, you know, especially when you get into, like, modded blocks, like the tractor beams, or, like, shield generators and stuff like that, they don't provide a huge amount of power, and that's kind of where I prefer the, um... Uh, what are they called? Um, from the Azimov Mega Mod Pack, these little um, uh, fusion reactors, because these little guys offer a lot more power. I think like what the vanilla one is like 15 megawatts, and those fusion reactors are about 45-ish, which you know times that by what the seven or eight I've got. Well, not about seven, about six in the back there. You know it'll add up. So anyway, let's get into the ship itself here. Um, do we actually have a? We do actually have a waypoint there. Obviously. PMR 18, okay. Um, just keeping on top of all my waypoints so I'm not having duplicates everywhere around the map. Um, so yes, the ship itself is actually just over a quarter of a million kilos in mass, so it's actually quite a light ship. 
in, f in all fairness. And that is one nice thing. I like One thing I have to give the vanilla blocks in the game some credit is they are usually very light. You know, despite most vanilla blocks in Engineers being rather bulky compared to modded blocks, they just seem, even though they're physically bigger, they are lighter on the mo for the most part. So, I don't know why. Um, it's just a thing that seems to be going on. Um, and yeah, the controls, which aren't too much to go on here. I think I have... Um, let me see, the number one is the back, yeah, back tractor beams, number two is the front one. Uh, thrust override for the bit for the main engine at the back there, because you don't need this large, this larger thruster is not required at full throttle all the time. Um, so there we go, and uh, uh, number five is the turret in question. So if we go up here, the actual thruster performance is reasonable on this ship. For the most part, there's actually only two small thrusters in each direction, other than the large one at the back here. And speaking of large thruster, if I actually hold, uh, decide to go forwards, this ship goes forwards pretty quickly, I must say. Um, but the only downside is, and I would have added more thrusters if it, had, if it uh, wasn't going to um, upset the aesthetics here, uh, but you can see slowing down is not this ship's forte. Does not slow down really quickly at all. But once uh, once we have slowed down, I'll show you some gyroscopic performance. This ship is actually I could just show you now. Actually, um, it's only got two th um, two gyroscopes, but it is surprisingly nippy and nimble at what it does. Um, so there we go. And for the most part, that is all that needs to be said about this little boat. Um, I mean ship. I mean tug. I mean you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, I am not good at making jokes, and uh, typically I have an itchy nose. Um, anyway, <coughs> distractions aside, so yeah, that's about it for this crazy ship. So yeah, let me know what you think of this random boat ship <coughs> down below in the uh, comments. Uh, if you really want me to release this ship as well uh, on the workshop, do let me know. Um, just just give me a bunch of comments saying, I want that ship! Um, and um, I'll if I get enough responses, then uh, yeah, I can get up there. Because it only has one mod, um, so it's, it's hardly going to... well. I get that there's gonna. I, I know there's like a lot of people out there in engineers who are gonna rant and rave that you know oh we, everything must be vanilla because it just works and better and it's just easier to use. I get where you're coming from because mod mods can break, especially on servers. But um, it couldn't. It's not gonna be a tractor beam ship without the tractor beam mod. Let's be real here. Otherwise, you've just got a boat. <laughs> I mean ship. I mean <laughs> you get my point. So uh, yeah, that's about it. It's like I said. Let me know all that crap in the comments. Uh, link to my Discord, I think I said in the beginning, is in the description as always. And uh, yeah, you will know the drill by now. So, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.